breaking overnight. Three Houston cops are shot and in the hospital. The suspect is arrested after an hours long standoff. After the official retirement papers were presented, now the search and speculation on who will be nominated to the Supreme Court. Russia is seeing few reasons for optimism over the U.S. response in the Ukraine standoff. A hiker reportedly has fallen 700 feet to his death while trying to capture the perfect selfie. And millions are preparing for a wicked winter nor'easter as we kick off this last Friday of January. Early today starts right now. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. I'm Vanita Nair. Well, welcome to the end of the work week. I'm Francis Rivera. Tens of millions are in the path of a winter storm that could overwhelm cities this weekend. The nor'easter is intensifying as it pushes onto the coast. Warnings stretch from North Carolina all the way up to Maine. New England is bracing for as much as 20 inches of snow. In the town of Franklin, Massachusetts, there is an urgent call out for more snowplow drivers, offering upwards of $200 an hour. There's also the risk of damaging wind gusts, which could leave people without power in the freezing cold. Let's turn now to NBC meteorologist Janessa Webb, who has the early track on this possibly very intense storm. Happy Friday, Janessa. You're going to be busy. Yeah, happy Friday. You know, if you're a snow fan, here it comes because our models, they have shifted just in the last hour and they're really starting to come into agreement right now. Thanks to Lester for that perfect tribute. And when you hear that name and that voice, you know you're going to be smiling at the end of it, just like we are smiling <laughs> big now after those I don't want to see myself age that many years, but he looks relatively the same. Amazing, amazing <laughs> career. Kudos to you, Kevin Tibbles. This is Early Today. The Tri-State's newest live local 7 p.m. news. News for New York, tonight at 7.